All right, so you went and got yourself a crime stat. It's okay. I'm going to show you exactly what to do to get rid of it. Here's my suggestion. Go to Grimhex. It's going to have everything you need to get going on your crime stat clearance, as well as not be hostile to you. Uh, at least the station itself won't be. So, so there's one thing we absolutely need when clearing our crime stat. And we're going to find it down in the main concourse, as well as all the other things, well, some of the other things that we're going to need. So go down to the main concourse of Grim Hex. We're going to go get ourselves a Tiger Claw. Tiger Claw is what's going to allow us to hack into the security consoles. We're going this way, by the way. Just follow my, uh, follow my footsteps past the admin. Thank you, Space Ghost, for telling me where this is. Follow this arrow down here. And it's in this door to the right. So you're going to go in here and the Tiger Claws are all, look at that, all in this little display case. So make sure you buy yourself a Tiger Claw. Looks like we have a customer in here already. I already have one, but what I'm going to do is buy multiple because sometimes they do fail. So make sure you have multiple. You can also get Tiger Claws from uh, bunker missions, from PVE missions throughout the verse, but this is an easier way to do it because they will always be here and it's kind of hit or miss whether or not you can find them in a bunker so okay now we need armor and guns if you don't know where to find those in grim hex it's it's i'll show you how to get there i'll remind you how we got here right these are the elevators okay so you're walking walking up the stairs you're gonna turn to your left past the tiger claws which are right there up the stairs and through this door don't mind him he's just uh taking a rest all right, walk through these doors into this area and it's on your right and it's this place is where all the good stuff is. So when you're clearing your crime stat, you will be on foot and vulnerable to bounty hunters who are going to come into the station or security depot after you. So you're gonna to wanna to buy some armor if you don't have any. If you do not have the funds to buy armor, buy a gun, okay? The gun is more important than armor because armor will only delay your inevitable death whereas a gun you might be able to get some lucky shots off you don't need to go crazy on the armor here we just need something i don't want heavy armor because heavy armor makes it so that you run uh way slower and i like a little bit of movement i'm a fan of this dust up core here because it's a uh, it's a medium so you can have a medium backpack so here's the thing right you want to have a backpack on wherever you go because it will allow you to hold all the things that you need and it will allow you to pick up all the things that you find on your adventure. So even just having a small one like this, I tend to keep one on me at all times because, because the more you pick up on your adventure, the less you have to buy later, right? Uh, when you're buying a gun at Grim Hex, I would suggest not buying a shotgun. Uh, I would buy an SMG here. They don't have the P4, unfortunately, which is one of the better assault rifles, so to speak, in the game. Uh, but that's okay. The Lumen is good. So buy the Lumen, buy like 10 mags, uh, and we'll be good to go. The other good thing about having a backpack is that it's the proper way to carry your guns instead of having them directly on your back. I just find that having a set of armor in a backpack will increase my chances of not running into uh, like bugs involving carrying things because especially if you're down at a bunker or in a station, things can get weird. Remember what you need to do when you equip your weapon. You will have to load a magazine into it um, and you need to have your magazines equipped to your armor core and you do that like this You just drag it over put it in the slot uh, And then you're good. We're done in the gun shop What we need to do is go back up to the lobby and grab a med gun from the pharmacy All right back to the, uh, the Aesop terminals go into the uh, medical area don't have to worry about setting your spawn point. You will either go to prison or come back here when you die, so it's all fine. The pharmacy has the paramed medical device. We want one of those. I like to keep this on me at all times. Oh, it's, they put it in my backpack. How nice of them. So just stick it there on your leg and you're good. All right, we now have everything that we need to go clear our crime stat. 
You could be more prepared than this. You could have another gun so that instead of reloading your first weapon, you swap to your other one. Um, feel free to do that. You could have med pens instead of the med gun because they're faster, but the med gun does more uh, health repair at the cost of a slower kind of regen speed, or I should say a, a slower deploy speed. But this is the bare minimum that you need to clear your crime stat. Armor, backpack, gun, med gun, ammo, and most importantly, crypto key, in other words, tiger claw. So be aware, when you're in Grim Hex, your crime stat will not show in the top right like it normally does, because Grim Hex does not care if you are a criminal or not, that's the whole reason you are here. So we're gonna call our ship, and we're gonna head over to uh, Security Post Korea, which, which is orbiting the nearby moon of Selen in the Crusader system, what the, which is where we are. Okay, so this is where it's about to get real for you. Once you exit this hangar, you are incredibly vulnerable to attacks from other players, especially if your crime stat, like mine, is a three or above, because at that point you are, you are on the bounty board. You are in here, uh, available for people to pick you up as a contract and hunt you down. They can see your location at all times, or at least an approximate location. So just be aware that you may be being hunted as you go about your business here, which is why we are fully prepared for combat. Security Post Korea is one of the more dangerous places to do your, to clear your crime stat, but I figure it, it will serve as a good example because it is more dangerous, and if you can do this one, you can do any of them, all right? You can clear your crime stat at, at pretty much any security post that exists in the verse. So, the reason SPK is a little more dangerous is, one, Crusader in itself is more dangerous than the other systems because of its tolerance for crime. So I'm just going to ignore this dude who's trying to kill me. He might have my bounty, he might not, who knows. You can engage, normally I would engage, but I'm trying to uh, show you guys how to do this real quick, so I'm ignoring him. There's my crime stat, pops up in the top right, because now we are in range of a, uh, what do you call it? A little satellite thing. You know what, it, you know what I'm talking about. So as I was saying, Security Post Korea is more dangerous because this is where they expect you to go. Even more importantly, it is more dangerous simply because the amount of entrances to the room in which we are going to clear our stat are many, and you cannot physically watch all of them at once. Amount of entrances to the room in which we are going to clear our stat are many. Amount of entrances are many. Making it almost impossible to be 100% um, you know, secure in your area. Okay, so what you want to do is come in here, limit your speed so you don't crash. Don't be afraid to use your boost, and you have to park underneath the, uh, the pads here so you don't get shot by the turrets. They will start shooting you. That's fine, normal. Power to shields if you want. I'm gonna nestle up in here. Oh god, that was a little too far. Alright, we're good. When they stop shooting at you, and they're not shooting at you for a good amount of time, we're gonna go ahead and get out of our ship. I'm gonna leave it on because there's no sense leaving it off. <clears throat> and this is when you are at your most vulnerable by far because anyone could just pull up <laughs> like I have done in the past and just shoot you on the pad. So get inside quick. There's something to be said for just stopping and waiting in your ship for people to chase you down. Um, but I prefer just running in because the longer I wait, the higher the chances someone will show up and try to kill me. This is when we have to be careful. No one should be in here because there was no ship outside. But that doesn't necessarily mean no one's in here. Their ship could have died, could have, you know, they could have claimed it, someone could have claimed it somewhere else, could have been stolen. 
Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Grab it, stick it in your hand. <laughs> stick it in your hand. And then it'll show up there. And you have to have it in your hand. Then what we need to do is stick it in here. Insert. And then it will start doing things. And that's how you know you have succeeded. Now we have to wait until this thing is done. Well, it's gonna happen. This bar will increase. And when normally, it, sometimes it's off out of sync, but it will get to its next stopping point and it will ask you to continue the process. So until that happens, we have to defend ourselves. And the best way I've found to do it is to keep moving. These two entrances are gonna be the most common for people to come in by, right? Those two entrances, there's also entrances back there, back there, there's also an entrance back here where I've killed someone coming in on me before. And then up, up in here, all the way through this, people can be up there. So checking this, okay, it hasn't told us yet. What, what you can do is sit right here. Like this is a pretty safe spot in, in here. The problem is you cannot see any of your other entrances. So if someone gets on you from the other direction, they're gonna be on you, on you. I like to keep moving. And also it allows me to be here instantly when this thing needs me to be um, so it doesn't take too long so I like to do this you know yeah it's very tedious but it works for me uh, there are spots like in this corner over here where you can be and have like kind of your back to the wall this is a safer spot but again if you're doing this solo you need to be available for this thing so the best thing you can do is listen for footsteps. It is possible for a mission to be spawned in here where nine tails will be wandering about. And it's happened to me before where it's caught me off guard and a couple nine tails came running in here. You have to shoot them. Um, <laughs> just so you're aware, it probably won't happen to you, but it's possible. Whatever you do, I would just recommend not sitting still unless you're in that back corner because the more you're moving, the more you give desync a chance for you to escape someone's spray. Uh, whereas if you're sitting still, they're just going to hit all your shots and you're going to die. Um, at least if you're moving, they'll hit some of the shots, but you may be able to turn around and, and shoot them before they kill you completely. Now, I'm not getting any continuation message here. Oh, there it is. So normally, there's a lot of these. They just press continue. And I keep my gun out this entire time. Because I want to be able to respond to a threat instantly. And so you see what I mean about uh, <laughs> there being a billion entrances to this place. Many a time have I had to kill someone who's come in here after me. But I've always succeeded. Hopefully I'm not jinxing it now. Hopefully I'm not jinxing it now. And sometimes you won't hear them at all. Sometimes they will be just crouching like this throughout, through the hallway. So that's why I look at every entrance and not just sit here and listen. Okay, system access granted. You're going to press exit crypto key, and then it's going to come up with all your crimes that you've committed, and you're going to have to clear them one by one. All right, so assaulting security dismiss. Give a reason. Mental incompetence. That's, a, that's my reason. Uh, you choose your own, you know? And we do not let our guard down because I am being hunted. Luckily, most bounty hunters do not carry FPS gear with them. So when that's done, just keep clearing until your whole list is over, and then you'll be done. Your crime stat will be gone. You'll see it disappear. I don't hear anything. There's a dude. Oh, see, that's a nine tails, right? So someone has spawned a mission here, which means if someone spawned a mission here, then someone is coming here to complete this mission. This is ex an extremely uh, <laughs> unfortunate situation. Hopefully, for the person coming to complete the mission, and no, it's unfortunate <laughs> for me. I don't know who killed me. Okay, it was a player. Yep, there he is. And that's just what happens sometimes at Korea, you know? There's nothing you can do about it. It's just the way it happens and we'll probably be in prison. So, oh yeah. Yeah, we're in prison. You know what? <laughs> that's, this is one way to clear your uh, crime stat, right? So this is you. this is the main problem with doing it at Korea, right? I. He was probably crouching around up in the top of the... He was probably in the second floor and just crouched up to the very point where he could shoot me and then just shot me in the head. There's nothing I can do about it. That's just the way it is, you know? And it all comes down to this right here. 
If you are clearing your crime stat, you want to do it with other people. It's the only way you can guarantee your safety. There's plenty of times I've gotten away with it doing it by myself, but but sometimes it's just it's just not possible, right? The timing. He showed up where I wasn't looking at the moment I wasn't looking there, and uh, he got the drop. So nonetheless, that's how you do it. Uh, just keep clearing your crimes until there's no more, and uh, you'll be able to log out at the end of it, and your crime stat will be cleared. That guy just fell off uh, the platform. Oh, I didn't do shit. <laughs> I will link in the description my last live stream in which I do uh, complete clearing my crime stat at Security Post Korea successfully. And that way you guys can see the full process and and just, you know, the final step to it. Which, there's really not much more, it's pretty much it. It's just, you know, that way you guys can see what happens when you don't get shot in the back of the head. Anyway, I'm gonna serve out my sentence. Uh, in Clusher, definitely not gonna escape, and uh, hopefully that helps you guys. Join the Discord, join the community, uh, have fun playing with other people, uh, join an org, you know, doesn't matter which one, just uh, find some people to play with. As you can see, it will definitely help you, <laughs> unlike me. Um, again, welcome to the verse, and I hope you're having a fantastic time. I'll see you guys later.